This is the May Bonnet video tutorial. This pattern comes in six different sizes and can be made with the brim or without the brim. For the bonnet without the brim, I'm going to add a simple pom-pom to it. And to make those, I use this pom-pom maker. It is pretty easy to use. For the brimmed bonnet, I'm going to use this Liberty of London fabric. It's a thin cotton lawn that I've had in my stash for a while because it is pricey. So I've been holding on to it. But for the liner, I'm going to use an old pillowcase, which is one of my best tips for getting fabric on the cheap. Start by cutting out all of your pattern pieces. And pay attention to when the pieces say to cut them mirrored that you need to flip them over before you cut the second piece. Or you can cut the piece on the fold and then separate the two pieces with one cut at the end. If you're not using pre-made bias tape for the strings, then you'll need to cut out the strings on the bias of the fabric, which is 45 degree angle to the fabric edge. It does use up an odd section of your fabric, but it does give the best results in the end. When you're done cutting your pieces, go ahead and iron them. I chose to make my bias tape, so that is what I'm doing here in this next section. I am ironing the tape using a bias tape maker that I got from Amazon. It is definitely not a prerequisite, but it does make it a little bit easier. All right, it's finally time to start sewing. And I'm going to sew my liner together first. I've got my middle piece and one of the side pieces and I'm putting them right side together. And I'm just demonstrating here how you're going to be sewing around the curve of the side piece. And I typically don't pin these together before I start sewing just because you are going around such a curve. To me, it's just more helpful to go slow and then readjust the fabric as I'm sewing to make sure that I can get around the curve carefully. I'm now repeating the same exact method to get the other side piece onto this liner putting right sides together. I'm starting at the top and I'm going around the curve all the way down to the bottom. What I just did for the liner of the bonnet, I'm now going to do for the outer shell of the bonnet. I've got my side piece and my middle piece they are right sides together, and I'm going to go around that curve. I'm going to do this for both sides. Iron all the seams of both the liner and the outer shell, and then turn them both right side out. Take one of the brim pieces and fold it in half, creasing it where the middle is. Find the center of the bonnet piece as well. Putting right sides together, match these two middle creases up and then pin the brim in place on the bonnet. And notice when I'm pinning that the outer curve of the brim is facing backwards towards the back of the bonnet. Repeat that process for the liner of the bonnet and make sure that you pin right sides together for the lining piece also. I am now going to sew my brim to my bonnet piece 
I am just sewing along the edge of the bonnet. And I'm going to repeat that for the liner. Flip the brims out and iron them in place. If you would like to attach a pom-pom or animal ears to your bonnet, go ahead and do so to the outer shell now. Turn the liner piece inside out and insert it into the outer shell. Try to match up the seams and the side pieces when you do this. And then when you get it just right, pin it in place. We're now going to finish the bonnet by adding the bias trim to the unfinished edges. We're going to start around the neck of the bonnet. It's the smaller side. And if you have a sizing tag, this would be a great time to go ahead and insert it when you're pinning this tape around. You are sandwiching the raw edge of the bonnet in between the two sides of the bias tape, and then pinning it together all the way around the neck. Then go ahead and trim off the extra bias tape. You'll use it in a later step. Use a straight stitch to sew the bias tape to your bonnet. Okay, the bonnet neck is done. Now we're going to use the rest of the bias tape to finish off the bonnet. So find the middle of the tape that's left. If your bonnet has a brim, you can probably still see where that middle crease is. And that's where you're going to be starting with the bias tape, pinning it there. The middle of the bias tape and the middle of the brim. If your bonnet doesn't have a brim, then you need to find the center of the bonnet and start your bias tape there. Going from the center, Continue to pin down the sides of the bonnet. We're going to sandwich that raw edge in between the two sides of bias tape. If your bonnet does have a brim, it's going to be a little tricky going around that curve right there. Just try to make sure that you get all of the raw edge enclosed in the bias tape. Okay, time to sew that tape closed and finally finish the bonnet. You're not going to start in the middle of the bonnet. You're going to start all the way down at the end of one of the strings sewing the tape closed at the edge and then going all the way up and around the bonnet to the end of the other string. Tie a knot on the end of each of the strings to finish off the bonnet.